Hello and welcome to an introduction to programming using Visual Basic exercises for beginners. In this exercise we are going to create an application calculating nutrition values. We are to write a program that requests the name of the food, number of calories per serving and the grams of fat per serving as input and tells whether the food meets the American Heart Association or AHA recommendation. They give us uh, two notes. First one AHA recommends at most 30% of calories to come from fat and one gram of fat contains nine calories. So this is a form, very simple, three text boxes, one for food name, one for calories per serving and one for grams of fat per serving and we'll calculate the percentage calories from fat and we will display whether the food meets the criteria of the American Heart Association. I'm here in my Visual Studio 2015 I have my form already prepared, so I'll double click the button and go to the button click event and let's start coding. The first thing we'll do, as always, is declare some variables. The first one can be a constant called fat calories per gram because we know that one gram of fat contains nine calories, so we can make it a constant. The next one, let's declare a string for the food name and it comes from the text box called txt name of food dot text. It's a string so we don't have to worry about any conversion. The next one is going to be another string called AHA approved. This will simply hold the message whether the food is AHA approved or not. So let's call it dim AHA approved and it's gonna be a string. The next one we need the calories per serving and grams of fat per serving and total calories from fat and all these can be an integer we're not going to be having 1.2 calories or anything like that we'll have whole numbers and we will need a result that will be the percentage of calories from fat and that one can be a double all right so we have our variables and now we have to make sure that the input was entered correctly meaning that the food name was entered and that the calories per servings and grams of fat per serving were entered as numbers so to do that I'm going to use a try parse for the integer. So let's do an if statement. First let's check if the food was entered or the food name. So if the food is not empty. Remember our food already has a value from the text box. So if nothing was entered it would be empty. If something was entered then it's not empty obviously. So if that's correct and integer dot try parse and we are parsing the txt calories per servings text box so txt calories per serving dot text if that one was entered and it can be converted to an integer then we'll store that value in our calories per serving variable and we also do the same for the second one which is the integer dot try parse and we are parsing the txt grams of fat we'll do that txt grams of fat dot text and if a correct number was entered and it can be parsed as an integer, we'll store the value of it in our grams of fat per serving. So this is our if statement. If that's correct, we have a correct input and we can do the calculations. Else, in other words, if something is wrong, we can display a message box saying that the invalid input was entered or missing input. And we can make the message box a little nicer. We can display a caption. Let's just say invalid input and we can display a button of OK only. So message box button OK and we can display an icon so we can display message box and let's choose the warning which is the exclamation point. Let's run it and see what uh, message box will get if I don't enter some input. If I click calculate the button here's my message box title is invalid input. Here's my message, please enter valid input, and here's the exclamation point warning and a button OK. All right, so now let's do the calculations. So if correct input is entered, we can calculate the total calories from fat. So let's do that. And it simply equals the grams of fat per serving multiplied by the fat calories per gram. So grams of fat per serving multiplied by fat calories per gram which is 9, remember that's our constant. Now we can calculate the percent calories from fat and it simply equals the total calories from fat divided by 
all the calories per serving. Now this gives us a decimal number, so it's, if it's 30% it will give us 0 0.3. So that's what we are going to calculate against. Remember the American Heart Association recommends no more than 30% of uh, calories coming from fat, so we can do any statement if percent calories from fat is less than 0 0.3 or 30 percent then we have our AHA approved which is a string remember and we can simply call AHA approved else in other words if it's more than 30 percent then our AHA approved equals not AHA approved and now we can display the result in our text box Remember our text box in a form is a multi-line, so we can spread the message into several lines. So let's do txt display dot text and display the name of the food. So let's say a milk or something. And we'll concatenate the word contains and we'll concatenate the percent calories from fat. But since it's a percentage, we'll use the format percent and we're formatting the percent calories from fat, comma, we're formatting it to two decimal places. And then we can concatenate, so it contains, let's say, 30% of calories from fat, period. And we'll, on a new line, we will enter whether it meets the criteria for the AHA approved. So we will simply add, it is, and then we will concatenate the text either AHA approved or not AHA approved. So we will concatenate the AHA approved variable to it. And let's end it with a period. So this is our message. Let's say milk contains 30% calories from fat. And on a new line, it is. And in this case, it would be not AHA approved because it's more or equal to 30% and it's supposed to be less than 30% for it to be approved. So let's run it. So if I enter name of food milk, and let's say calories per serving will be 120, and grams of fat, let's say 5, I'll click calculate, and it says milk contains 37.5 calories from fat, and you can calculate it yourself. I know it's correct. It is not AHA approved because 37.5 is more than 30. So let's make it only, let's say, two calories per serving, uh, of fat per serving. And now it says it contains 15% of calories from fat, and it is AHA approved. Now let's also try not to enter some of the values. So let's say we'll enter five for calories, but let's say instead of a number, we'll enter an A. So now we should get a message that says, please enter valid input, which is correct. We shouldn't get any calculation done because that's not a valid value. And if I enter this one correctly, and this one, let's say, is omitted completely, again, it's an invalid value or invalid input. So this is working correctly as well. Okay, I hope you liked it, and I will see you in the next video.